up everybody Waldo from Polyfiber here I'm gonna show you a video on uh, the beginning stages of covering a kit foxwing all the information I'm gonna give you here is in the manual so um, if you have any questions or uh, you're not understanding part of the video then open up the manual and you should find all your answers there um, we got the wing here ready to cover and uh, the very first step is gonna be to do a pre coat of poly brush on hard surfaces where fabric is going to ride on so basically the leading edge and also in this case I would pre-coat the fuel tank area for a kit fox wing so let's get started here you can see uh, once again I got the poly brush mixed ready to go and I'm gonna go ahead and do two pre-coats of poly brush on the leading edge and also on the gas tank uh, area Once you're done with uh, the two pre-coats, then you want to completely let it dry, and then that's basically ready to cover. Now on a kit fox wing, the bottom of the wing is actually under cambered. Uh, so before we start covering, we want to take some polytac straight out of the can, and you want to pre-coat the bottom of the ribs. The reason for that is because of the under camber, um, you basically want to glue the fabric onto those ribs before you start shrinking uh, so that it doesn't bridge. It'll actually follow that contour or that curve of the bottom of the rib. Um, that will be on part two of the video. So if you like this video, then subscribe or maybe just look up the part two and we'll show you how we take care of that under camber. For this section of the video, we're actually going to focus on the top of the wing. That's what we're going to start with. The reason for that is I always like to think of what I'm covering, if it's a high wing airplane or a low wing airplane. Um, what you want to do is think about what side to cover first. On a high wing airplane, I always like to cover the top first and bottom second so that I can hide the seam on the top of the wing. Right? It's gonna be harder for people to see the seam on the top of the wing on a high wing airplane. There is no right or wrong. You could leave the seam on the bottom, but it's just really a cosmetic thing. I like to hide it and make, uh, make it look better by hiding the uh, overlap seam that you end up when you put fabric on fabric or glue fabric to fabric once you're done with the uh, let's go back to the video once you're done with the two pre coats of polytech then you're basically ready to cover okay you're gonna take your fabric unroll it trim it and off you go okay usually I start to uh, cover on the trailing edge just because you have a straight shot kit fox wing pretty simple to cover there's no real curves or anything like that so you start on the trailing edge you apply the polytech straight out of the can you just do a section at a time because it dries pretty quick you want to lay the glue and then lay the fabric onto wet glue Okay, that's just how it works. You want to lay the cement or the glue down and then uh, apply the fabric onto the wet glue. Depending on temperature, if it's really hot, then you could only do you know, 12 inches at a time. If it's 
fairly uh, fresh out there it's not you know high temperatures and you might be able to do a little more at a time too maybe three feet at a time once you have the trailing edge all done then we're gonna go ahead and move to the leading edge I kind of gauge how much fabric I'm gonna need for the leading edge and then if I have too much I can trim it just makes it easier to work with uh, when you have less fabric in the way so you can see me trimming the fabric there once you have it all trimmed up then it's time to glue or cement the leading edge it's the same thing okay you're gonna apply the polytack and then lay the fabric into wet polytech. You want to try to keep it wrinkled free as much as possible. If you have some small wrinkles, not a big deal. You can always get them out with the iron later on down the road. But it's way easier if you do keep all the wrinkles out of it. Uh, it'll be less work and it'll look a lot better um, for the finishing product. Here, once you got the leading edge, then the last uh, couple of things is to do the root ends of the wing, um, and even the basically the wing tip end um, of the wing uh, again. So you're gluing around the whole perimeter of the wing uh, with Polytech cement. Then if you have anything that's uh, poking through, in this case we have the neck of the fuel tank, uh, you would want to draw a line. Apply a little bit of Polytech right onto that line. That'll keep the fabric from fraying. That way when you uh, go and cut that area out, it gives you a nice crispy cut and it doesn't fray on you like crazy. It looks a lot better. Okay, there's the root end. Once you got the whole perimeter glued in, then we'll flip the wing around, glue the rest of the leading edge. You'll do the same thing to the trailing edge. Then once you know where your final trim cut's gonna be, apply a little bit of Polytech on that line wherever it is that you're planning on putting it in this case you can wrap around the the leading edge i'm going to trim the fabric right where it ends or it falls off so i'll put in a little bit of polytech once the polytech dries then i'll take either a razor blade and carefully cut down that line or take some good scissors and trim that line all the way down and you do the same for the trailing edge and the sides as well, the root ends.
that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching. For the next steps um, on this covering project, make sure that you like and subscribe and watch part two of the video, and we will be covering the entire process.